The lives of young children move quickly as they develop and grow. But have you ever stopped and really looked at how they are thinking, how they make meaning of the world around them? If you look closely, preschool age children are able to use technology within the engineering design process to expand on their interests and deepen their learning. However, they are not doing this alone. Children need engaged adults that will introduce different levels of technology, view them as capable and competent learners, and ask preschoolers to choose the questions they explore. This is STEM, and preschool-age children can express their creativity and curiosities using developmentally appropriate technology. In one of the classrooms, we implemented a robotics platform called Kibo that is a research-based, developmentally appropriate robotics program for ages four to seven that uses block codes that are hands-on blocks that you actually put together. So it's not using coding that's on a screen or something that an adult would have to do. It's really the children can actually create the code and engage with the Kibo to make it do what they want it to do. So we have one child that she is from China. So in the month that we started using Kibo, we realized that Chinese New Year was coming. So we introduced some books with them. We went to the library. Most of the books presented the Chinese dragon. So we brought the idea why we shouldn't make a dragon and help Kibo to move as a dragon. So we present a video to the children where they can see how the dragon move. We asked before how did they th think the dragon would move. So they start creating this hypothesis of how the dragon would move with Kibo. So we start incorporating at the same time the engineering design process. So we explain to them that engineering design process is a cycle that is five step. So we start planning. So we ask the questions about how they think that it would look like. What different blocks we need to use to make the dragon. And the other part was to start imagine the process so the children start to use in their imagination to make pictures about how Kiba would look like with the dragon in the top. Because you made a plan, we knew what to create. And, and during one point, when we get to the point to create, other areas were incorporated, like math. One, two, three, four, five. When the dragon was made already, so we went to the library on campus and they have this green screen and to see if we can make a video for that. Um, at the end, we saw that the dragon worked and the coding that they made. And so we start making that process of improve. We realized that after they did all the commands and the coding, the dragon start falling. We created this amazing dragon. We have to improve. We have to improve, have to improve it. That's so let's, let's talk about, maybe we can go to the table and we can talk about how we can Make sure that and this sticks. So we came out with the question, what can we do to make it stronger so the dragon stay? So what materials can we use? Paper, tape, they start the interaction between them. No, I don't think this is going to work. I think this is going to work. What's really nice for them to understand, okay, if I want to improve something, what things can I use as a tool to, f to use it that uh, is accessible for me right now that I have around me? A feather? Do you think that will hold him on? <laughs> the improved process helped the children to understand and realize that it's important to be persistent in something and to try different uh, ways to make it better. And, but during this process, it's been like three times that we've been improving. So because that is what life is. We always make mistakes, but what we can do to fix it. We okay. fixed it! Let's see. Maybe some people think that early co coding is not meaningful for children, but the tools that we use are things that the children use daily, like a simple block where it's just a command, like this one say forward. So children are learning how to follow directions. Here is the code, forward, and shake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice job. All right, let's see if this one, can you read it for it? It says, forwards, let's go. Backwards. 
And I see that the relationship with this in, in the other part during the day is like, okay, children need to sit, need to plan what they want to do, they need to be engaged to each other. So this helps them to build this knowledge. They are not just learning to code, they are coding to learn. The following are ways that child development could be promoted through the integration of technology and engineering in preschool. Early coding is a tool that sparks children's creativity and expands their dramatic play. Children can use everyday items to improve upon their robotic creation. Collaborative problem-solving skills are encouraged through participation in the engineering design process. A focus on engineering design may help develop persistence in young children as they view mistakes or problems as a natural part of this process.